Hi, I'm Libby Blundell. I'm the first year a coordinator for the architecture course at the University of Brighton. Um, I was asked, I guess, to talk a little bit um, about yoga and I was thinking about it this morning and um, from one of the videos I took part in this last week. Um, it's not something that I've always done, but I've dipped, um, I guess, I guess I've always done regularly, but it's something that I've dipped in and out of throughout my life. And um, I think one of the ways of thinking about yoga, um, or at least this concentration of the breath and movement, um, helps you focus the mind and really brings you to the present. So even as a lecturer who's been doing this for a while, I still get nervous uh, before I do uh, lectures and presentations and just concentrating on your breathing sometimes just helps uh, to centre you before you before you talk and present. Um, I was sort of anecdotally talk, talking about my gran who um, was a yoga teacher from from the age of 50 to uh, 88 um, and she, she died this year actually, uh, she was 91 but there's always been a presence uh, an awareness of yoga in and around the family and for a short period I lived with her while doing my A-levels and she used to test out her um, postures uh, on me, really, um, to see if her class would be capable of doing them or not, uh, which is kind of fun. Um, so yeah, it's something that I'm always done. And then when I practice more, um, and wasn't in academia as much, I used to attend a yoga for architects class, and it's just kind of an awareness or an acknowledgement of like what working at a desk um, can do for you and how yoga like helps you uh, loosen up and sort of. Um, yeah, I guess take some of that stiffness out of the day and that's the same for students too so um, it's something that I would uh, advocate whether you, it's something more dynamic and whether you've got um, the time or you feel like you've got the time to spend and do a big class or even if you just take 15 minutes to yourself uh, to be quiet and to concentrate on your breathing this you know can not only help you kind of prepare for a crit or presentation or like lectures as I said but it can also just actually help you uh, focus um, for your creativity and like prioritize um, what you need to do and you can't really do that if you're um, feeling like overwhelmed um, so yeah I sort of say that trying to have some of these daily practices is something um, well yeah something good to return to but if you don't manage to do it daily just recognize it's another tool uh, in your kit um, just like the pens and the, the tracing paper and um, that sometimes you need to bring it out just to help you, um, yeah, be your best. Okay, uh, I think that's all from me. Take care.